Hello. I just want to continue today talking about the different types of electrical circuits, series and parallel, particularly talking about how the current behaves. Now current, I want always remember, current is just the amount of electricity flowing. We're counting out how many billions of electrons are flowing at any one moment. So last time I told you that as you add more bulbs in a series circuit, they get, can you remember? They get more of those that's right they get dimmer dimmer and dimmer and dimmer as you add more and we'll be looking at why that is also i told you that when you got a parallel circuit if you add more and more of them do they get dimmer or brighter or stay the same they well, stay the same they stay the same they keep their brightness actually surprisingly they keep their brightness now let's have a look firstly i've got a series circuit with one bulb and the electricity flows around and I can put in a little device there called an ammeter and the ammeter measures how much current is flowing. The ammeter is connected in series with it. Everything's in series there. And ooh, it's saying A1 has got a value of 1.5 amps. But if you look at that picture and you look at that line representing the current flowing around, what would be the value of the current at point A2? What do you reckon would be the value? Mm -hmm. Take your three, time. Three. You're going for three. That's not a crazy answer. Mm. Well, actually, it's 1.5. It's 1.5 because actually the current is the same. Wherever you look in a series circuit, it's the same. Remember, electricity has to start off and it has to get back, get back to where it ended, and nothing is lost. Or no, no electricity is lost. It does lose some energy, but that's a different thing. Let's try this one. Series circuit again. Electricity goes right round. And I measured it there at 0.75 amps. What would be the value here? 0.75 amps. Going for 0.75. You're sort of learning that rule. And there in the middle? 0.75. It would indeed. Series circuit, all the same. Not the same for parallel circuits. But in a series circuit, if that's 0.5, the next one there? Is 0.5. And that one? Is 0.5. And that one? Is 0.5. Yeah. We've got a nice little rule there. It's the same electricity going all the way around. In fact, we can do this forever. Uh, we can see that if you measure it to more decimal places, it doesn't matter. It's 2.51 amps. It's going to be 2.51 amps everywhere. It's the same electricity all the way around. And that is why, sorry, if we look at uh, a parallel circuit, remember, uh, we see that the brightness stays the same. We're going to look at why again. So firstly, there's one bit of a parallel circuit. It's a series circuit, but we'll add to that in a moment. But remember, it's the same everywhere. But now if we add two of them, can you see the electricity splits up? It splits up and it goes different directions. So if I measure it here, up there, top right, it says it's five amps. And if I measure it over there, what do you think it could be? Five. You're going for five? Okay, you're right. It is five. Now then, what about A3? What do you reckon A3 might be? 2.5. Yeah, how do you think of that? Why would you work that out? Because it splits. You can see it splitting. You're dead, right? And that one there is also going to be? Um, uh, 2.5. 2.5 is correct. And then if I measure here, just and we got one amp, what would it be there? One amp. It would be one amp. And there? Two. Two. And there? Two. Correct. Okay, it's just showing it splitting up. Right, ooh, three. Do you think you can do three? We'll see. It's doing the same thing really, isn't it? Just splitting up three times. If I measure it there, it's three amps. There, what will it be? Three amps. And there? One point, one, one, one amp. Just one amp, yes, because it, it splits and it splits by three. And there? One amp. Indeed. And if I measure it here as two amps, what would it be there? Two amps. And there? Two amps. And there? Six amps. Six amps. Yep, yeah, you're dead right. Uh, yes, you can see it all splits up like before. Now, each of those bulbs have all got two amps in. They've all got two amps. And that's why they're keeping their brightness, because they've all got an equal amount of current going through them. 
and we can try it doesn't really matter it still works out the same we've got a funny shaped one here the shape doesn't really matter we can still see things are splitting up if that's five amps what would it be there five amps and there uh, 2.5 amps yeah 2.5 amps indeed and oh i can see it's splitting up three there's still the same thing going on doesn't really matter. Remember, the current always just splits up. One so amp. here it's going to be one amp. Even though it's laid out slightly differently, it's one amp. They've all got the same. As long as it's three bulbs, as long as it's three bulbs there, and it's one in each parallel part, they're all going to have the same amount of current going through them. Okay, I would like you to go away, and if you start to think you've forgotten about it, start watch it again anytime you want to, and just try and keep it in your mind. Okay? Bye now.